Hello everyone, welcome to the Clarity 16-1-2 Feature Supportability Training. This is Denise Saladay. I will be covering the changes that we made in this release to investment management. We made improvements to investment management in three main areas. The first area that we improved is for copy actions. For projects, you'll now have the capability to copy level two custom sub-objects. And an important point to note is other investments already had this capability in a prior release. In the details fly out, you'll be able to copy level two and three custom sub-objects. The next improvement is related to upgrades. We are now creating the OBS unit and instance access rights for level two and three custom sub-objects for any existing custom objects. We also addressed a limitation where we're now handling custom sub-object copies whenever the name or ID field is auto-numbered. Next, we've delivered a new capability where you'll be able to group and reorder tiles on the custom investment and in the custom master objects workspaces. And lastly, administrators will now have the capability where they can actually restrict uh, in allowable investment types that can be used as a parent for particular investment types for projects, ideas, and custom investments. So why is this important? We wanted to extend the copy actions and cover all of level two and three custom sub-objects so that users can save time whenever they're creating data. And we also wanted to drive adoption for this capability across the product. For tile grouping and custom investments, we felt that the usability would be improved because there will be easier access for custom investments. And last, Administrators want control over a more formal investment hierarchy. And now, with the new investment mapping capability, they'll be able to actually define allowable investment types that they can use in the parent attribute for each investment type. And also, they'll be able to restrict any investment types from having any parent. So the first thing we're going to look at is custom objects copy actions. Before we explore further the copy actions that were added this release, I wanted to just provide a summary of the actions that existed prior to, to today and the capabilities. And anything that is new this release is highlighted in green. There are two ways that you can copy project custom sub-objects. The first way is you can do a right click and select the copy action from the menu. And the second thing you could do is to select a particular row that you want to copy and then click the copy button. Regardless of which mechanism that you use to copy, you will receive the copy modal. An important thing to note is that the copy modal doesn't have a configuration um, capability where you can actually uh, define and configure which fields that you want to show on that screen. While you're copying, the word copy is prepended to the name of the item that you're copying. There's some logic behind the scenes for the copy which defines which attributes will show up in the copy modal. Studio required attributes will be hidden when the source record field is empty, but there's a default defined in Studio. On the other hand, Studio required fields will be shown in the copy modal whenever the source record field is empty, but there is no default for that attribute in Studio. If you defined any required attributes in your blueprint on business roles, um, we're ignoring them during the copy operation. And lastly, 
any ID auto numbered fields will be hidden in the copy modal. We've also extended copy action support from the details flyout. Here you'll be able to copy custom sub-object instances. Just like you can in the grid to perform the copy operation, you'll just highlight the sub-object instance and then with the right-click menu you'll select copy. And whenever you expand the details flyout into the grid, you'll actually have the right-click copy action available there as well. I wanted to add a reminder on how copy and view rights work whenever you're copying sub-object instances. First, the user must have both the copy and view rights to copy sub-object instances. If you're copying a level 2 sub-object instances that also has level 3 instances, as children underneath it, I have a little matrix here of what will occur whether the copy of those third level grandchildren instances will be successful or failed depending on what view and copy rights the user has. In this release, we've also addressed two limitations in the product that we have for copy actions. The first one applies to upgrades whenever you have existing custom objects. We are now automatically creating the OBS unit and instance rights to access the custom sub-objects. This issue was documented in a KB article which is no longer relevant. In the past, whenever you performed the copy operation on a custom sub-object where the name and or the ID field was auto-numbered or whether it had a default value set in Studio, uh, that operation was failing whenever you were copying the custom sub-objects. And we've addressed that issue as well. In the copy modal, we only show studio required attributes when the source record is empty and there's no default set in studio for that attribute. Additionally, the modal will only display attributes on the sub-object where the copy operation was executed. If you have a second level sub-object and it has data at the third level for a child object, and the third level object has attributes that are studio required, but they're empty. The copy action is going to fail in this situation. And last, to reiterate, if you defined any always true business rules in blueprints, they're going to be ignored during the copy operation. Next, I'll demonstrate how you would copy custom level 2 sub-objects against projects in the projects module. And then after that, I'll demonstrate how to copy level two and three custom sub-objects from the details flyout. I will now demonstrate the copy action on project custom sub-objects. We'll take a look at a level two custom sub-object under e-commerce portal project for business justifications. Now there's two ways that you can copy these sub-object instances. You can either use the click button by selecting this with the copy to do a single copy, or what you could do is use the right-click menu. Regardless of whichever way you do your copy operation, you will still see the same copy modal. This copy modal is not configurable to display fields in blueprints. The copy modal will display those attributes that are studio required um, and the source record that you're copying from is empty and there's no default defined in studio for the attribute. It's going to hide any attributes that are required or any IDs that you have auto numbering defined on or studio default for and you'll only see those attributes that are on the object where you're performing the copy operation. 
So the first thing you'll notice is the name is prepended with the word copy. So we'll just update this here. And when we're done, and we want to execute the copy, you just click the copy button. And your record's created. You get an action that says the copy's completed. And it was successful. So the next thing that we're going to do is look at the copy operation and the details flyout that we've made available this release. We're going to take a look at a level 3 sub-object. And if you open the details flyout, I have it configured to show on the bottom, we'll look at the analysis report, which is a level 3 sub-object. So you also have the right-click option here available. And you just click copy. You get the copy modal again, just as you would on a level 2 sub-object. And we'll make this um, 2 as well. And you get the ID because it's required and we don't have a value for it. And when you're done and all the required fields are populated, the copy button is enabled and you just click copy. You also have this capability in the details fly out in the expanded mode. So let's create a third copy. And notice that the button wasn't enabled until I entered the last required attribute. Once I do that, just click Copy. And you get a menu item up the top, the message that says Copy Completed, and you can see the new row that you just copied. And this completes the demonstration for this topic. And this concludes the supportability training for investment management. Thank you.